The Matrix Resurrections introduced us to a new simulation, a new version of the Matrix that feeds off humans differently. It also introduced us to the new architect of this new simulation, the Analyst. This entity managed to develop a better balance than its predecessor, the Architect. What are the differences between the two Matrix creators? Who is superior? Let's find out. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The Architect was a cold program that showed a little to no emotions. When he did, he was condescending and contemptuous. You have many questions, and though the process has altered your consciousness, you remain irrevocably human. What do you think I am? Human? The Architect was highly calculative and rational, even when things didn't go as he planned. He maintained composure, not prone to give in to threats. You won't let it happen, you can't. You need human beings to survive. There are levels of survival we are prepared to accept. If I were you, I would hope that we don't meet again. We won't. The Analyst arrives as an opposite force to the Architect. As we've mentioned in a previous video, he shares more traits with the Oracle than the father of the previous Matrix. Just like the intuitive program, the existential purpose of the analyst is to understand the human condition to take advantage of their weaknesses. We could consider the analyst as the new intuitive program that took the better qualities of the oracle and the architect to improve the performance of the simulation. In earlier versions of the matrix, the architect and the oracle function as opposing systems to perfect the matrix. The analyst seems to be the new system that replaced both of them. He is egocentric. He enjoys human suffering, especially Neo's suffering. The analyst is more laid back than his predecessor, tends to make jokes, and he can be exceptionally cruel. The analyst has the best traits of the Oracle, as he can understand human nature perfectly. He has the best traits of the architect, as he is the creator of the new simulation. The fact that the analyst can understand humans better than the Oracle, and he is capable of creating simulations better than the architect, makes him quite a dangerous program. Another important trait of the analyst is that he is an innate leader, and above all, he is persuasive to both humans and machines. The analyst mentions that he convinced the quote-unquote suits to repair Neo and Trinity, something that cost them a lot of resources. We also know that his rise to power was due to a coup he orchestrated in City 01 that ended up with the analyst as the victor. He likely used those same persuasive techniques on his fellow machines to spark the civil war between themselves using fear-mongering, saying that the truce is causing energy scarcity. The analyst is your typical charismatic leader turned dictator. Another aspect where the architect and the analyst contrast is their security. The architect created the path of the one that was reused multiple times. It concludes when the one meets the architect before returning to the source. To reach the architect, the one has to use a special key on a specific door at a specific time to meet with him. Once the door is unprotected, the connection will be severed, but another connection must first be made. How long will that take? Exactly 314 seconds. Just over five minutes. That is the length and breadth of the window. Only the one can open the door, and only during that window can the door be opened. After Neo basically said screw it to the path of the one, he flies out of the architect's room and the entrance is destroyed with a massive explosion. The architect watches the matrix from outside and only enters when it's necessary. He calculates and runs everything from a secured location outside the boundaries of the simulation. But the analyst lives inside the simulation. Maybe this is the reason why he better understands humanity. The architect was an external entity. He saw the simulation only as variables and equations. However, the analyst mingles with the programs and humans inside the matrix, giving him a perspective that the architect never had. When Neo takes the red pill, he sees the analyst through a mirror. He is wearing pajamas, meaning that the analyst lives as a human inside his house, inside the simulation. He didn't live inside a fort armed with bombs. He is approachable because he is confident in his abilities maybe a bit overconfident. Being exposed in the simulation made him susceptible to what happened to him at the end of the movie. Perhaps it was because of his ego that Smith was able to beat him. After Smith shot the analyst into non-existence, we thought that that was the end of him, 
or that if he somehow survived, he would change more like the architect. What ended up happening was much worse. In the final scene of the movie, Neo and Trinity confront the analyst in his house. The analyst did not go into hiding. He didn't surround his home with bots, agents, or any form of security. He was just sitting in his house, having some morning coffee or tea. The analyst knows Trinity and Neo well, and he knows the simulation because he created it. This understanding of humanity is what makes the analyst different from his predecessors. The Oracle once said that the architect could not understand any choice. The architect told me that if I didn't return to the source, Zion would be destroyed by midnight tonight. Please. You and I may not be able to see beyond our own choices, but that man can't see past any choice. And the analyst said the same thing. My predecessor loved precision. His matrix was all fussy facts and equations. He hated the human mind. So he never bothered to realize that you don't give a shit about facts. It's all about fiction. The architect sought perfection by trying to solve all flaws in the equation. And although he did achieve some stability, it was only thanks to the Oracle that the simulation reached near perfection. So if someone was going to create the perfect simulation, it has to be someone who understands human desires and their weaknesses. Although the analyst succeeded the architect, he reminds us more of the Merovingian because of his eccentricities and his ego. We don't know for sure what his plans are for the future, if he admits defeat or if it was all part of his plan. As established in the movie, he uses people's hopes and dreams against them. His understanding of humans and the simulation makes him better than the Oracle and the Architect. And that is a very dangerous combination. But do you agree? Is the Analyst more dangerous than the Architect and the Oracle combined? The place where you live is not the place you once dreamed of. Are you sick of your hot and filthy Zion apartment? Then we have the solution for you. Bad credit or criminal history? We can wipe your slate clean and give you a fresh start. We at Mega City Realty can find you the most luxurious real estate where you can spend hours playing your favorite virtual reality video game, eating the most delicious meals and having an endless supply of blue medications. What are the blue pills for? No need to worry because you will be bathing in the most phenomenal bathtub with the best view of the city and only minutes away from the best cafeteria in the city. Why wait? Contact one of our agents and be reconnected to the home of your dreams. Mega City Realty. Offer valid while the truce lasts. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.